Welcome to Rock DIY or Do It You. If you do it, then it's all you. The way that these gates attach to the bottom of the cart or through these slots here. And then on the very bottom of the gate, these little tabs slide in. And then all you do is just lift it up, turn the lever up, and then just let it drop down and it locks it in place. handle is attached to the two front wheels and gives you a pretty good turn radius. Also the handle has these pins in it and you can pull the pins out to rotate the handle around and then put the pins back in and now you can attach it to a, a lawn tractor. When we bought the Gorilla Cart, this portion right here with this tube goes from top to bottom for the pin. This was not on here. This was welded on basically just to help reinforce this piece because these two pieces were just floating. And then also with the pins and the cotter pins, you can't really use those cotter pins here if you're going to attach it to something because the top portion is on the flush and the bottom has probably less than one eighth of an inch of space. I could have left the hitch portion of the handle the way that it was with the, just the two pieces. Um, having it this way allows it to slide over the lip hitch that's on the back of my lawn tractor. I didn't like leaving the handle hitch this way on the cart because of the way it was wearing on the lip hitch of the lawn tractor. Um, but I decided to go with putting the uh, piece of uh, tube steel in it and welded it and then made uh, a different adapter that goes on my lawn tractor that allows the cart to be pulled. The wire mesh on the gates are holding up pretty good, but you can see in the last year and a half they've gotten beaten up pretty good. And then the other thing is, depending on what you're using the cart for, the gates uh, do get warped. And if you happen to put something inside that's too big or falls within the cart, uh, especially like right here, you can see that the gate's been pushed out. So a lot of times I have to reform the gate or gates in order to uh, get it back to its original shape. The tires on the Gorilla cart do lose pressure quite a bit and they don't lose pressure at the same rate. So uh, you might find out once you load something heavy into it that uh, it doesn't move so well. Um, and in most cases, if the tires are really deflated, it makes moving the cart quite difficult less damage to the bottom of the cart. I have this quarter inch piece of plywood that I cut that fits right inside the cart. Thanks for watching the video. I truly appreciate it. I hope this video motivates you to take on future DIY projects. There's nothing more satisfying than completing a project on your own. Please like, comment, or subscribe. Thanks again.